It's My Fishing Show is being revived. I recently just got back into fishing after a week-long salmon fishing trip in BC along the Skeena River. And I really want to get started on the show again. I know Trent's excited to get back into it, and so am I. And it's really going to be just a great time. I already have a couple of videos planned out, but this is the story of really how I got back into fishing. These are little baby cohos at the Kinemat Hatchery, but that's not the thing of it. So this is the Skeena River. This is where I fished. We fished along the river. This is the first part on the river. The second part, we took a charter on a boat, and uh, charters are always great. And this is a minnow. I have an underwater camera, which is which is awesome. The technique we use along the river is called flossing, where you have a weight and it goes down across the river, flows it flows downstream, and uh, attached to it is this wool shiny thing, and the shiny thing attracts the salmon and it accidentally gets hooked in the mouth. And this is how we land the salmon. It's so sophisticated. I know nets are too too mainstream. But the other way to fish is for spring salmon along the Skeena River, and, and for that you use a spinning glow and some row, and you get it stuck on the bottom, and you wait till the Chinook attacks the row. This unfortunate soul was fighting with this thing for about five minutes until he realized he was fighting with the bottom of the river. Embarrassing. Now we're from Alberta and we're here slaving on the river because sockeye are the best best eating salmon without a doubt. Nobody can really argue otherwise because they just are. And the sockeye are also some of the smaller ones. But it's, it provides like, it's a spirited fish so it provides a fight like say a jackfish would. But it's also bigger and they're all usually around the same size because they're all the same age. This is a bull trout that was strangled by a fly leader. I had a really slow start. I caught two trout, one of them a tiny rainbow, one of them a mid-sized bull. But that's all I caught for the first half until I finally landed a couple of sockeye. Now this fish is a steelhead and you can't see it all too well because it flopped when I took the picture and it was laying on the rocks and I caught this fish and uh, they wanted to throw it in back really quickly because we were next to some people uh, who were really sensitive about uh, the steelhead fishery I guess. And the steelhead are kind of rare in there, not in the ski nut, not really. But this steelhead was a whopping 27 inches. And that's what, that's what like, the guy next to me's rough estimate was. It must have been 20, 20, 20 pounds. But other people just don't understand the magic that I feel or that I know Trent feels when we catch a new fish that we've never caught before. And it, and it, it really saddens me that I won't be able to remember this uh, steelhead the way that I want to remember it. But this other picture is just a scramble of me trying to get a picture as it's released. And this goes to the story of the river. In this next little part or section, we're going to go onto our charter in the boat onto the ocean by Prince Rupert where we catch a lot of enormous fish. <laughs> 